Who's that? Oh, it's you. Do you want to come into my garage? I'll give you a bit of a tour, show you my toys, some of my tools, and all the cool bits and bobs I've got, or at least I think they're cool. So, should we start with the bikes? Uh, I guess one of the bonuses of working for GMBN is I get to ride lots of different bikes. They're not mine to keep, let's just say it's perk of the job. Uh, so here I've got my Scott Genius. It's running 27.5 wheels at the moment. And there's a set of 29 er wheels that I'm gonna try out for a video. Can't wait to try that out, very nice bike. This corner at the moment is sort of cross country corner. I've got a Canyon Exceed hardtail at the back. Got the Lux full suspension cross country bike. That's something I ride a lot in winter actually for training. From my house to ride out to a couple hours, big epic rides, love that bike for doing that. I've got a giant anthem hanging up there. That's the bike that I was supposed to race in off-road Finnmark in Norway until I broke myself on my road bike two weeks before. So I'm saving that for something else at the moment. There's my road bike that I use for training. Um, I'll show you my training setup in a bit. Behind you, we've got my e-bike. So that is my um, specialized Kinevo. Down here, we've got another little Specialized. That is my little man's Specialized Hot Walk. Pretty cool little bike. Um, up here, Retro Corner. That is my first ever mountain bike that I got in 1995. So it was actually old when I got it. It was 1990. So Kona Lava Dome, speckled paint, lovely. I lost the original Project 2 forks, unfortunately. So I just built it back up with a mix of parts and I use that as my pub bike for getting around on. It's got the child seat mount on there at the moment. It's got that retro bottle cage. Can't remember who made them, but that was quite expensive back in the day. But yeah, it's kind of a bit of a mismatch of bits, but I love it. I've got a few random bits and bobs in my garage. This is a 50cc engine that bolts onto a push bike. Uh, I've not decided what bike I can put that on yet, so I'll save that for a rainy day. Then I've got an actual motorbike. No, not the e-bike. This is a 1978 Yamaha SR500 that I bought, I don't know, probably 10 years ago as just a rolling chassis and then five buckets of bits. And I spent a winter putting it back together. I love this bike, I've painted it. it sort of looks good from afar, but far from good. It's a bit tatty, but I love riding it around in summertime. I also nicknamed it the bastard because it always breaks down on me. The problem with the gearbox, I've had the engine out on this, of this bike probably half a dozen times now and I can't fix it. Uh, the gear's fine, the clutch is fine. I think there's a spacing problem in the gearbox. So for all those motorbike nerds, leave some comments down below. You might be able to help me out because I'm pretty much giving up on this bike. It's just fifth gear doesn't work. Um, up here I've got various helmets. I've also got some snowboard boots there. Uh, this is a helmet that I broke in Whistler two years ago. I smashed my head and separated my shoulder. Um, so I don't know why I've kept hold of that really. I might as well throw that away. Then I've got pock full face and then I've got motorbike helmet. So I've got an open face helmet. If I want to pull off that Wallace and Gromit look. Uh, motocross helmet and then I've got a full face motorbike helmet as well. So that is my Specialized Kinevo. I'm loving this thing at the moment. Uh, it's UK, it's winter. So all the trails are really deep in mud, rain by me. And on a normal bike, it's really hard work. Your average speed is nothing. So I love jumping on this bike and going and drifting around, having a proper ride in an hour and a half when I don't have much time. It feels like a downhill bike. So over in this corner, it's sort of spares corner. I've got a motocross tire for a bike that I no longer have sat up there. I've got various bits and bobs down here, grips. I've got a saddle bag. I've got a little stash full of pedals. So if I'm swapping around, depending on what I'm running that day, what bike I'm riding, various crank buzz pedals. Some of those sticky little patches are going on your dropper seat post. They're really good. CO2 cartridges, set of retro pedals. Can't even remember what bike they've come off actually. Um, bottle cages, wrap my helmets up there. And then down here, this is one of the best purchases ever made. I bought a couple of big boxes of Shimano cables, so inner and outer. See, they're actually custom ones, they say Don on them. Um, but it just saves me going to the bike shop every time I want to change my gear cable. I've uh, got an old turbo trainer, don't use that one anymore actually. I've got rollers and I've got a proper smart setup, I'll show you in a minute actually. Spare tyres, I'm always swapping tyres for conditions, obviously different bikes, so it's nice to have a stash of tyres there. Spare wheels, they've come off my Scott, those ones, the Gravity 29ers, and a few more second-hand tyres up there. Got a snowboard, brand new one, look at that. Not come out yet. 
got my old one, really old snowboard up there that I use in the UK because I don't mind damaging it when there's not that much snow. I'm saving that one for going somewhere nice. My least favorite thing in the garage is pretty much just this area. It's full of messy stuff. Underneath here, I've got like motorbike oils, filter oils, uh, funnels, everything's covered in oil. It's horrible, it needs clearing up. And my toolbox is a right mess at the moment. I don't know where anything is. And there's loads of cool bits and bobs in here. I've got offset bushings, loads of stickers, mud guards. What's that? An OS map of Glencoe, but it's just a mess. I need to clear it all up. Moving over to the work area, just here. Uh, I've got a really cool workbench here. It's secured to the floor, so it's really stable. Got a nice new vice put on that, so it's great for hammering things. I don't know, like getting bearings out of things or whatever, or generally motorbike stuff. Generally takes a lot of hammer. Um, got loads of spares up here. Spare grips live there for some reason. I should have somewhere better to put them, really. Um, underneath the bench, what have I got? I've got a spare clutch from an SR500. And then I inherited this box actually, but this is uh, really useful. Loads of really old tools are great for working on motorbikes. So loads of random things. The oldest thing has got to be my Yamaha SR500. It's 1978, so that's even older than me. I think on the logbook when I bought this bike, it had 17 previous owners. So it's been around the block, seen a few things. So on my workbench, I've got a little Bose speaker. Love that thing, lives in here pretty much. Uh, I've got this little Camelback tool pouch. Got one of those little Topi uh, ratchet sets, really good. Um, various bits, so uh, also ratchet bits working on bikes. Assorted Allen keys, very useful. Spare battery from e-bike. I've got a very posh little RockShox tool set. Check that out. That is cool, isn't it? Made by Abbey Tool. Don't actually use those to be honest, they just sit there and look nice. Um, got my spanners hung up, that is really useful. I'm so glad I made that thing, just so you can find a spanner really easily. I've never really been a big one for keeping number plates, but I've got a few. I've got my number one from the Trans Savoir, only rode that one for a day, because I then separated my other shoulder. Um, that's a cool one, number 18 from Andy's Pacifico last year, really like that. Couple of British ones, just from various EWS races and yeah, British rounds in enduro. Head torches, great for working on bikes. I've got my uh, medal from the Superbike Dolomiti last year. It's very hard work, that one where Sai beat me. And this is cool, I think. So I've got a few of these boxes that's full of random old bits. So if I ever break apart, what I do is I just strip them for sort of nuts and bolts. And you'd be surprised how often I have to dip into this for various bits and bobs. So, yeah, saved my life a few times. Got my stash of various sort of lubes and things up here. Got a couple of those really cool grease guns. A lot of zip ties, like keeping an old Kool-Aid box. Gets topped up occasionally. Well, we've got a surfboard up there. Santa Cruz surfboard, that's not been used in a little while. Old stereo, don't use that at all. Uh, I've got a piston from an SR500. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, that one. Keep that. Um, and loads of various bits and bobs on my shelf. I've actually got some of those box components bits sat up here. I've got a mech that's a bit bent. Uh, I was gonna keep that just for spares as well. Then I've got more uh, ratchets down here. Nice little one. Love that. That's a great little tool. So what's interesting over here, I've got a DI2 charging kit that I keep safely in a bag. I've also got a bag full of tapes, uh, parcel tape, electrical tape, some of that Scotch 3M tape. That's really good for putting on your chain stays to stop any noise. Um, you never know when you're gonna need some tape. Hacksaw, good for cutting down your bars. To my toolbox, where for years I just put stickers all over it, so all sorts. I've got Motocross of Nations 2006, Winchester, went to that. Cable ends, you know, cable for all the cable ends. Got some wax from a surfboard, not sure why that lives there. Various bits and bobs, um, messy top drawer, that's motorbike tools, so. If you ever need a tyre change on your motorbike, you need a massive tyre lever. 
probably one of my favorite tools. That is a set of part tool cable cutters. I must have had 20 years, 15 years, don't know. And it just still works really well. So love that. Needle nose pliers, chain whip, mole grips, uh, adjustable spanner, side cutters, pliers, they all live in that drawer. Bottom drawer is sort of smaller spares, so nuts, stuffing on nuts, whatever you call them nowadays, can't remember what you call them. Uh, valves, tubeless valves, stickers, all sorts of little nuts and bolts in there. What else have I got? Got some spare stickers uh, for a bike that I had in 2004, 2005, so I better keep hold of those, never know when you need those either. Got various electrical bits and bobs over here. I've got a Wi-Fi extender if I ever need to work in the garage. I've got a work light. I've got my part tool digital scale. Uh, I've got a compressor over here. Nice for doing tubeless tires, motorbike tires, things like that. I've got my riding packs hanging up over here. So I've got a big, medium, and then a bum bag, the camel back. So I've been using the bum bag actually quite a lot. On my cross-country bike, strapping that on, you can stick your water in there, stick various tools and stuff. Boxes, that's where I keep my riding shoes. They're a bit wet at the moment. I've got some nice dry ones sat in there. There's my e-bike charger. There's my massive Topeak uh, Super Joe Blow booster pump, great for seating tubeless tires. Motocross boots for a motocross bike that I no longer have, but keep them as well. My newest thing in the garage is my training setup. I've always used the garage for sort of winter interval training for racing, using my old turbo and my rollers, but now I've got a smart trainer and that hooks up to Zwift. So if you don't know anything about it, basically you ride online um, or on the screen and it basically adjusts the resistance on your trainer. So if you ride up a hill on there, it actually gets harder down here. So you have to change gears. This measures my power, my cadence, I've also got an amp plus dongle on my computer, so that picks up my heart rate. So it's actually really easy to ride here for an hour and a half and do some proper training, get the tunes going, get the fan going. It's not a bad way to do it in winter. Right, you've seen my garage. I think it's about time you got out of here. But if you want to see some more videos, click over there for one featuring my Scott Genius, one over there featuring my Canyon Exceed. Hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. <laughs>